So my name's Al, I'm the Marketing Director here at Tritax Symmetry. The Tritax Symmetry has been going since the late 90s, there's a number of iterations of it as a business. Um, our real difference is that we offer a, an end-to-end -end sort of cradle-to-grave development process. So we go and find the strategic land that's uh, appropriate for buildings like these, and we take that all the way through the planning process, all the way through to development and the final building. I guess our sweet spot is sort of 100,000, even that's quite small nowadays, more like 150 to 200,000, all the way up to a million square foot industrial logistics space across most of the UK, but predominantly in the Midlands and, and uh, Northwest. The thing about this category is that the decision process to frankly finding a building and from the need that you have a building to actually getting in the building is extremely long. It's an 18 month, 24 month process. Um, when you've made, the, when the decision has been made to find the building that you're after, that's generally only around sort of could be a maximum nine, but often about three months out before actually finding and getting inside the building. So there is a long time before uh, that defining what your criteria is and from the establishing that need. And that's where we need to build the Tritaximetry brand. From a consumer background, what you realize is that all the frameworks and um, you know the ways of working and, and the ways of delivering good marketing is the same for a consumer as it is for business. There is still a funnel there, there is still a consumer journey, albeit it's just a different category and a different product that you're selling. And uh, you know, there's even still you know, emotive elements in that decision journey where you can nudge and steer those people that you're trying to influence along uh, to make the decision to choose you. is exactly appropriate as if you're buying anything else, be it a car or a, a watch, who knows. It's the same fundamental processes. It's only about 20 years ago, people really didn't consider warehouses as a sort of, as a much of a growth sector. COVID surely proved that, where we had this enormous demand for rather large buildings. That trend is not really going away. We are all um, delivering, uh, buying stuff at home and expecting it to be on our doorsteps within 24 hours. And buildings like this and logistics firms inside them, that enabled that. Um, and so, you know, I. I I dare to say that warehousing in, and you know, let's not call it warehousing, let's call it what it is, industrial logistics buildings have come through a bit of a revelation, uh, a revolution in the past few years. And consequently, the marketing also needs to kind of catch up in that sense as well. So site marketing is really appropriate for the agents and the clients that are actually in market and, you know, shopping around for a building as well, defining what their criteria is, what size it is, where they need to be, what power they need, all that good stuff. And um, really to, when we're either spec building or we have you know, a build suit opportunity, it's really just ensuring that you are at top of mind for those people that are in market at that point. And the content uh, that we produce you know, with the drone content and the site progress updates are really there just to build anticipation all the way through to completion of that build if it's a speculative build to ensure that we're there at top of mind and when we are we're we're getting on to the right inquiry schedules from a um, from an occupier's agent um, so it's really um, you know making sure that the buildings that are in play that are in build at the moment for those agents and those clients that are actually looking around and we found out through research our own research that they do that to ensure that we are at all the available on the available channels wherever they're searching and so we are actively being considered about this time last year did i realize that 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 idea of building anticipation through to build uh, typically it was through static shots and we asked the development team to take a shot whenever they're on site and so forth and it's just a bit sporadic and ad hoc and in the you know, in the in the there are four set stages in the building of these buildings. You know, there's the laying that you know plateauing the ground. There is then putting the steel frame up, then putting the concrete up, etc. There's about sort of five or six key moments that you want to capture throughout that build. And you know, drone footage is far more exciting than static imagery. And you know, you're moving a camera around space, and that gives you so much creative, uh, you know, variety of what you can do to bring that kind of 
seemingly relatively boring thing alive. And um, and Skyrev, out of the you know, three or four different contractors that we looked at, were the one the most easily most flexible and responsive, but also took a kind of creative challenge on. And um, through looking at all that competitive study, it like gave the challenge to you guys to to bring that. Uh, at, do something different and and that's when the team kind of jumped to life and kind of came up with some really interesting ways of doing that. You get lots of data now through through particularly through social media and through you know website tracking and so forth and um, it's relatively easy to um, uh, quantify you know good creative um, versus that stuff that doesn't engage as much. And um, so, you know, we get to see, we'll see impressions, engagement rates, reshares, all that good stuff. And from some of the earlier stuff to what we're delivering now, we do see an uptick in those key metrics. I'd, I'd estimate around 20-25% more impressions on average than where we were about a year ago. Uh, I think our stuff gets shared a little bit more, uh, more regularly. I mean, and the, the, you know, the correlation of that is, is as you grow the, in, uh, the uh, good content and you get interest in that as a channel will get more followers and therefore you're meet, reaching more people and therefore delivering more impressions so it's a kind of virtuous circle.